Hey y'all, it's Darla with Growing Tropical. Well you guys, I'm out here at our vacation rental property in Cortez, Florida. I'm sitting very quietly on the uh, back patio area. It's so peaceful out here. I just, I love to come out here. And um, I'm very excited to be bringing you this video today because today is the day that I'm going to walk you through the entire house after it's been fully renovated. And I'm gonna show you room by room what this house actually looks like. And and um, what I'm going to do before um, I do that, though, is um, I'm going to just take a few minutes and um, I, I actually I'm going to ask you guys just to take a few minutes just to sit back, grab your coffee, grab your glass of wine, whatever, to relax, sit back and watch maybe about a two, three minute um, little montage, if you will, of what this house looked like um, before the renovations. Um, again, as you guys know, Robin and I back in, um, it was like mid-February, um, we purchased this 1955 um, cottagey style home and we came in here and we fully pretty much fully renovated the whole entire um, house we have two um, bathrooms that we did semi um, uh, remodeling on and we're hoping that possibly next year um, at this time we'll be able to go ahead and um, fully gut those bathrooms and make it um, our own make it what we really want it to be um, we did just um, kind of like a semi remodel you know kind of clean things up and um, left pretty much the floor and the tile intact but put in new vanities and bathrooms that type of stuff or bathrooms toilets and stuff like that mirrors yeah 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 that type of stuff um, but I am very excited to be able to bring you guys along and show you um, what everything looks like how it all came together um, all the furniture's in place pictures are on the wall um, I am absolutely loving it out here um, and it's really kind of time time is of the essence for me to get this done because we've already started Started receiving uh, quite a few bookings and I'm very very thrilled about that uh, we are what they consider to be our slower months um, but we're still getting bookings and so I'm very very happy about that so I wanted to, to um, go ahead and put this all together and um, you know kind of bring you along and show you where we are um, I shouldn't say where we are you know what what we've accomplished inside this house and um, like I said I'm going to put together um, just a little montage here set to some music and I'm going to show you what this house looked like before um, before Robin and I started um, you know fully renovating the inside of it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come back and I'm going to walk you through the house showing you room to room uh, and what it currently looks like after the remodel has been done. So you guys just sit back and relax, watch that two to three minute little um, little montage of what this house looked like, and we'll come back and we'll take a walk through and look at what it looks like now.
Okay, all relaxed. Did you guys enjoy looking at the before pictures? I love being able to go back and I do it a lot it's with this house. I go back and I look at these pictures of what they look like before Robin and I even started. And it just makes me feel so good that we can breathe a, a, like a breath of fresh air back into this, uh, into this home. This house is just so cute and it's so charming. And I just love that we were able to, you know, bring it back to its um, kind of original beauty, I guess is what, um, what I call it. So anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to go ahead and start on the back porch here and uh, show you what the back porch looks like. So let's go ahead and flip the camera around. Okay, so here is the back porch area that um, Robin and I just kind of, you know, cleaned it all up. There was a wash machine and dryer um, that were uh, about right in here, actually. There was a wash machine and dryer. And what we did was we just, uh, we took it out of here and we relocated it in the house. Um, we are close to the, um, I mean, we are right on top of the bay here and we get that salt, uh, that salt air and everything. And it just uh, terrorized that wash machine and dryer. And uh, so we thought it would be a better thing to have the wash machine and dryer um, in the house and of course we'll see that in just a few minutes but we put a TV out here that way people could sit out here um, and they could watch or listen to music um, whatever watch TV or listen to music um, we put obviously a new ceiling fan up here the old one was just kind of hanging and uh, just put a new um, little uh, you know table and chair set out here and if you guys remember in the, um, the earlier little montage we put together what this porch actually looked look like. Um, we added indoor outdoor carpeting just to kind of clean the area up and I tell you for pennies um, it was you know I thought well gosh it's going to be like a really dated type thing but honestly you guys it just it cleaned it up and it just um, it blows off and vacuums really nice and for right now until Robin and I can decide maybe you know pavers or something down the road who knows um, it just makes for a really really nice clean area so um, anyway here's uh, I've kind of proud of this Robin is too um, this little um, towel and bathing suit holder it's just made out of PVC I probably should have put that on film for you guys to see but we just went into I believe Robin got it off of a YouTube channel and I don't even know I'll put the link to it um, it may have even been Pinterest but really cool little um, not little it's actually very big um, you know little PVC I keep saying little large PVC bathing suit and towel holder that um, you know we just cut all those uh, PVC pipes and put them all together with the T's and the 45 degree angles and such and uh, really just made a nice little um, area uh, for people to hang their towels and their bathing suits on. So um, there's the grill. We just kind of put a new gas, uh, yeah, new propane, I should say, pay, propane grill out here uh, for everybody to be able to uh, cook out, which everybody needs to have that in a vacation rental property. But let's go ahead and go on in uh, the house. So here's the back door. And uh, let's go ahead and go on in and see the exciting changes that were in here. Now, for most of you who follow my channel, you do remember the, um, the kitchen and uh, me doing the backsplash, actually. And, of course, this is its finished product. Um, of course, all the appliances are in. The backsplash obviously is done. Um, we have it all set up right now. Uh, for our next um, our next guest to come in. Like I said, we are doing uh, quite a few bookings and I'm very excited about that. I cannot tell you how excited I am uh, about getting all these um, these bookings. But this kitchen, if you uh, again think back to that little montage that you watched and what this kitchen looked like, there was an old ceiling fan that was right here. Of course, we took that down and uh, we put in a light. We had to recess this light in because this was a, uh, there was a hole that was recessed up into the ceiling. And of course the, ce uh, the ceiling fan sat up in there. There was no light at all in this kitchen. I mean, it was very, very dingy and very, very dark. And um, that light right there just, that was very needed. And so that was a huge, um, a huge plus for this property, putting in that, um, that light. And of course, then, you know, the we have a little coffee bar that's, you know, right in here. And if you remember, guys, this is the front door that is over here. And when you first walked into this front door, you were greeted by a cabinet. It was just a big brown cabinet and it was just set into the wall. Um, and it actually housed a refrigerator. And of course, that was one of the first things, one of the first things that I wanted to get rid of. Um, I wanted to just open 
open that up because that space just became so much more open. It looked really, really good. And so now this area houses a coffee bar and it just looks so much better in there. Just opens that space up. And of course, I can't forget, I can't forget this opening right here. You guys probably remember uh, when I was backsplashing the, um, the grout over here, I was talking about this opening that was not here. This was probably one of, with the exception of, you know, removing this, um, this uh, refrigerator cabinet that was attached to this wall here this was probably the biggest thing um, was opening this space up right here because this was just a solid wall and of course on the other side of that wall was a um, what they considered to be an efficiency apartment complete with a kitchen which we took out but Robin opened that uh, opened that wall up and just framed around it and oh my gosh you guys as you can see the light from this window right here I mean it just comes right into the kitchen and oh Oh my gosh again next to this light up here this added light right here from this window just was huge again for this property so there that was a very exciting thing um, for us to do and to really create um, a beautiful a be another beautiful space um, to this house so anyway let's matter of fact let's go ahead and go on into the dining room let's go through that opening um, this was the efficiency apartment that was in here and um, it had a TV it had a little sitting area over in here, and um, it had, um, let me see, the kitchen where this refrigerator is at. Now, this is the refrigerator that obviously we've added, but this whole entire wall right here was just a kitchen. And of course, if you think back to the pictures that you saw at the beginning of this video, that whole wall was just a solid kitchen that uh, Robin and I went ahead and we tore it out. And uh, just, again, there was, it, it wasn't conducive to what we were looking for in this property. We didn't want a separate efficiency. We wanted one house, three bedroom, two baths, and um, that's exactly what we got when we went ahead and utilized this space as part of the house as opposed to, you know, the efficiency apartment. But anyway, there is the washing machine and dryer. We were able to add a nice stackable in there. And then Robin added this cabinet that was, or that is right next to it. And it just houses the laundry detergent and everything. So that was a huge, huge plus being able to bring the wash machine and dryer um, into the house as opposed to on the back porch. And then um, over here, this is another thing that I'm very proud of. I'm just so proud of all the little things in this house that have just really come together um, and just made this house, you know, more modern and just breathe, you know, a breath of fresh air into this whole, um, into this whole beautiful little cottagey style home. So anyway, um, all that being said, this barnwood door, um, it, was a, it was a necessary thing that had to be uh, done because this opening was just that. It was just an opening and, um, you know, it leads into obviously the uh, master uh, bedroom and you know you we I, I was like okay we've got to do something with separating the spaces you know when you have guests in the in this property you know they want to be able to go into their bedroom and you know people want to be in the dining room we want to be we wanted to be able to give them this um, you know this privacy so obviously that door closes off nicely just like that and now you've got a nice private dining room uh, separate from that uh, bedroom, which really, again, that was just a really, um, a really great added feature uh, to this home. So anyway, opening back up this barnwood door and going into the um, master bedroom or ensuite, whatever you want to call it. Um, this was another, um, another area that again, and keep in mind everybody that we, we took these walls, these walls right here were just, um, oh, they were just so awful. You know, they were, you know, 1955. I mean, they're solid, you can hear. <laughs> they're just solid concrete. But I mean, in order to get pictures or anything in here, I mean, you know, some people were driving railroad spikes, it seemed like, you know, into these walls. And, you know, when you take them out, you've got big, you know, gouges in there. And, oh, it was just, it was really, really horrible. So we did have somebody come in and literally retexturize every single wall in this house, including the closets, and just, you know, again, gave it that nice, um, I believe this is called knockdown, but just gave it that really nice, um, clean, fresh start 
to where when I was painting it, you know, everything was just so clean and fresh, brand new, and um, it just it just made it all come together. And this room is a beautiful pale yellow, um, so it really, really, um, it really, it, it, the walls are really enhanced. And I, um, you know, I didn't want all that, um, you know, that that icky patch, you know, job and everything that was on the walls before. So anyway, very, very happy and pleased with the way, you know, this all turned uh, out. And of course, you know, we've got the closet, obviously. Um, we just took all the doors and everything um, off. All these doors right here, they're all the original doors that were on the house. I shouldn't say original. These were doors that were on the house um, that we just took them off the tracks and we sanded them down and just had them, you know, re actually I sanded about and I repainted them. So, and that we did that with literally every door, internal and external on, uh, or in this house. But anyway, we added, um, you know, new, um, kind of boring, we're in the closet here, but, you know, added all new, um, uh, what do you call these, racks and shelves and stuff for people to hang things on. So, you know, very nice, and obviously, you know, the, the uh, ironing boards and stuff like that, but just, again, gave it a very nice, fresh uh, look. And this was kind of cool. I love the fact that this was one of the only closets that actually had a light in it, and I love that. The other, ba or not the bathroom, the other bedroom does not have a light in the closet, but I thought that was a nice little feature, you know, to have in, you know, just a little tiny closet like that. So, anyway, that was a plus that we didn't have to do so anyway moving on we're going to go over here to uh, the um, uh, master bathroom and this was another area that um, I just you know I when we first saw it of course if you think back to the montage this was um, a window that was right here in this area where the mirror is at that was a um, a window and I thought oh my gosh that is a crazy place for a window who goes in front of a sink okay to put your makeup on or brush your teeth or whatever the case may be and look out a window that just didn't make a whole lot of sense to me so Robin and I went ahead and we put this mirror up and of course a little unorthodox because we did not um, from a time standpoint and because we knew that we were going to be redoing these bathrooms um, you know pretty soon anyway within within the year we're hoping to go ahead and fully remodel these bathrooms when I mean that I'm talking about taking all the tile out on the floor as well as the uh, the bathroom and putting brand new tile and everything you know porcelain tile and everything into these bathrooms and giving it a much more modern um, clean I should say clean because it's very clean looking but just a um, a new um, a, a fresher look and more of a beach style um, I don't really care for the color in this um, so obviously you know we're gonna get rid of it but anyway that being said um, from a time standpoint and again from you know a financial standpoint you know it seems silly just to go ahead and start you know ripping windows out and everything right now so we left the window on the outside and then um, we just put a cardboard piece we cut it to size on the inside pushed it in nice and flush and then bought a mirror that we knew would cover this whole entire area and of course there's no light or anything that comes through it and it looks really nice from the inside as well as the outside. Um, when you walk on that side of the house, you can see that there's a window and it just looks like there's a shade or some kind of curtain or whatever that is on the outside, which looks, you know, really nice. But anyway, um, very pleased with the way this all turned out. We added, um, you know, new towel bars, um, obviously to, you know, everything, new toilet and, um, you know, new fixtures for the toilet and everything. And of course we added uh, fixtures to the inside of the shower as well. Um, again, like I said, just a semi rebottle, not anything too uh, too crazy. So anyway, that is the master bathroom. Um, and then so coming out, going back through into the dining room. And I love the way this house flows. And it didn't flow like that when this this opening right here was a wall. It did not flow at all. And I just, again, I love the fact that, you know, we've got this opening here that makes this a nice three bedroom, two bath home that flows and brings light into much needed areas. So, okay, let's go into the living room. Now, the living room, um, again, thinking back to the little montage of, of pictures that you guys saw in this um, little living room, 
because that was an efficiency that was back this way that we just came from um, and not a dining room, they had a small little table. Um, it was like a little, little, just like a little bistro table right here with two chairs, you know, up against this window. And um, it just obviously, you know, it, it, was too small. I mean, it would not house um, the amount of people that can actually sleep in this three bedroom, two bath house. So that is another reason why it was really important for us to um, add that dining room, you know, as well. But this, um, again, this, this living room had um, a dining, like a small little bistro, I should say, not really dining room chair and table. It was more of a bistro. Um, we had that there. And of course, there wasn't a whole lot of furniture that was in this house. Um, everything though, um, is, I think it was a day bed that was back there that we removed. Um, you, you guys probably saw that from uh, the earlier uh, pictures that I did show, but this living room just really came together. It's, it's a small living room. The home itself uh, altogether is 1167 square feet, um, but we made use of you know as much of that 1167 square foot as possible. And this living room, you know, just by setting the couches the way we did, you know, we really added you know a lot of space. And um, you know, everything again um, is original as far as the beadboard down here. We kept that um, all the beadboard throughout the house. I sanded it all down and um, I killed it and I put a fresh coat of semi gloss paint on there. And now it just wipes up like a champ. It just looks absolutely beautiful. I'm hoping you guys can see the sun is going in. So it's not, I'm going to turn a light on so you can get see if I can't get the light to come on here. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me see if I can't get it to go a little bit brighter because I'm in the house and sometimes it gets really dark when you're inside, even though this house has a lot, a lot of light. But like I said, the um, the, the sun is kind of going in and out. Looks like we're going to get some rain. Let me see if I can make this just a little bit brighter. Well... I think I was at my brightest, wasn't I? There. See, maybe that brought a little bit more more light into the room. But anyway, <laughs> I got kind of carried away with the light there. Um, going back to the living room, um, just, you know, painting the walls again after they've been all retexturized, you know, and just cleaning everything up. And that that is probably the biggest part of this house is just cleaning everything up, you know, just kind of bringing everything, um, you know, uh, just a modern, a modern, fresh look to everything. Those barn wood doors that are hanging right there, we did not add those. Those were actually in here, which I thought was a really beautiful little feature. Um, at one point, now I don't have pictures of this because I did not um, have access to the house back um, you know, 20, 25 years ago, um, when this, this is the twin bedroom, uh, that we've, we've made here, but this whole, before these doors were here, this was just an opening. I believe if I'm not mistaken, Robin said this wall right here. Yeah, you can hear that's hollow. That wall right there is hollow. It's not solid concrete. So that was added right there before our time. It was added and this living room was a lot bigger. It was this live this this room right here and it flowed all the way into what is now the twin uh the twin bedroom. And so it was really nice when whoever um owned this before us maybe two times ago now added these barnwood doors and um you know made that that third bedroom which is nice now we did take those barnwood doors off sanded them all nicely and then repainted them because they were just um they were in need of some tlc but those doors are absolutely beautiful and they're they're a really nice focal point um in this living room so anyway um back going back into the twin bedroom again there was a day bed i think they had set up in here um i think it was over in this area right here they had a day bed set up and um this wall over here was just horrible um they they or whoever um, was taking pictures off the wall, whatever, you know, homeowners live here and then were taking their belongings when they moved out. Boy, they had just huge, this is the one that I think had like railroad spikes in the wall because the, the, the holes that were in there to hang pictures were like, whoa, you know, and so when they took the pictures off and everything, they literally lifted off the, the plaster on the wall itself. So we had to do some major repairs on, um, on the walls, on that particular wall actually in this room. And, um, 
Um, so anyway, with that all that retexturizing, it just cleaned everything up and made everything nice. And of course, you can see the chair rail that's here. The chair rail is all throughout the house. Um, so there was a lot of sanding, um, you know, a lot of cleanup, you know, in that regard. But we were able to utilize all of it and not have to take it out or anything or even replace any of it. So that worked. You can see it goes all the way, you know, around the room. But um, now this closet right here, now this closet I use as a storage closet. This is such a small room, a twin room, that um, because of it, more than likely, anybody that's going to be staying in here, their, um, their young adults are going to be in here. So they're going to be probably under the age of 21, and uh, you know they're not going to care about a closet. I was more concerned with making our guests comfortable, young people as well, comfortable um, in this twin bedroom. You know, I didn't really concern myself with them needing a closet. Um, I do utilize that as a storage closet. Um, matter of fact, let me go ahead and open it up and show you my little closet here. Robin put this fancy little door handle on here, which really is wonderful. But this is my little storage closet, and Robin put a little light in here for me. And I just have all kinds of shelves in here and storage and of course, cleaning products and everything else. I love this little closet. Um, it was a train wreck. Um, I don't think I have any pictures to show you what it actually looked like before, but I mean, it was, the wall was all, I mean, it was caved in. And so the texturizers, they did some drywall in here for us and everything and just made it, you know, made the walls look really, really nice. And of course, with a fresh coat of paint, you know, it just makes a big difference. So that is the storage closet. Pretty boring, but <laughs> to me it's exciting. I love my little storage closet. It's very, very user-friendly. So, okay, going into the next room area, I should say area room, uh, the little hallway that's here, there was a huge, um, just a huge, uh, like, uh, a storage, like, uh, I don't know what, what the term would be, uh, like a storage cabinet. There you go, a storage cabinet. It was right in here. It was just big and white, and it stuck way out. Of course, you can see the opening of the bathroom right here, and it stuck out just, gosh, almost to the edge of the right where the door comes. It stuck out into the wall. I mean, it was just a huge storage closet and um, probably very needed because there really isn't a whole lot of storage in this house. And so um, we, it was something that we didn't need. And of course, I was looking at opening up space, not limiting the space. So we went with a smaller cabinet. And of course, that is a cabinet that I utilize as well for storage for myself. But it also, um, you know, if somebody wants to stand here and they want to blow dry their hair in this mirror, they can do that. So it added a little extra space, um, you know, on the top because there is a uh, counter here. And uh, like I said, you know, you've got a mirror here. And Robin uh, did something absolutely wonderful. I kept saying, wouldn't it be wonderful if somebody could blow dry their hair there? But there was no electric. There was literally no electric in this corner whatsoever. So my my beautiful, wonderful husband added this electric right here. He just came off of the electric that was back here and he fished it down the, the inside of the wall and came out to this side and uh, put me an electrical um, outlet right there. And now I can not only plug in this beautiful light that I got from my mother, I think this light is so, so pretty. It's so crackly. It looks beautiful at night. But I can keep that plugged in or someone can plug that in for a little night light. And it's also user friendly because, again, they can stand here and they can put on their makeup, uh, blow dry their hair because they do have the electric now. And so that space, again, it was just um, just a nice little um, a nice little area that is just, uh, again, I use the word user friendly because it's uh, perfect for not only storage, but being able to use it. So anyway, absolutely love that. And of course, this is the second bathroom. And this bathroom again, um, you know, we kind of like the other one, we left all of the tile um, in the shower, <clears throat> excuse me, in the shower as well as, you know, on the outside um, as well. And then what we did was we replaced things like fixtures, you know, bars like that for the curtains. And of course, you know, I put, you know, curtains and stuff in here, but um, the mirrors 
and the lighting fixtures and everything that we all we added all of that and we added obviously the vanities and new faucets you know for the sink and we put in um, in both bathrooms we put in these um, blow dryers obviously that's for user friendly for our guests and um, again just put in things like uh, plates electrical plates and stuff cleaned all that type of stuff up new toilet now this this right here and I think you guys saw that in the um, in the beginning of this video with all the pictures that I did put up this window right here was a train wreck it was the original 1955 crank style window <laughs> and it was a oh my gosh it was just well 1955 I mean it wouldn't open it was just um you know it was awful it was awful and it had to come out and so Robin took a sledgehammer and basically sledged it out because it was just burrowed into the concrete wall. Like I said, you guys, these walls, solid concrete. They're not even echoing. You can't even hear the echo because there is none. So we went ahead and he added or knocked that old window out. We put a new vinyl window in there and recessed it. And we added this um, little, uh, actually Robin created a framing out of cedar and just framed it all in. And now it is just a beautiful user-friendly window. And I absolutely love it. And it just gave it that clean edge that this house so, so desperately needed. So again, this is the, um, the second bathroom and I love it just like I love this house. So this bedroom is the third bedroom and we came from the master suite and then of course we were in the twin bedroom and this is the queen bedroom which is the third bedroom. So here we go is another, you know, all the chair railing, all original. I shouldn't say original. When I say original, y'all, I don't mean 1955. I mean from when we bought it. We kept, there were a lot of things that we knew that we could keep and that we would just have to be, it would have to be labor intensive as far as, you know, sanding. I brought my little battery operated sanders in here. God love battery operated, those lithium batteries. Those are wonderful, but I just sanded them down to the bare, you know, right down. All, well, some of them went all the way down until I stripped the paint off of some of them because the areas were so bad on it, but they sanded up absolutely gorgeous. Kills them and then repainted them with a semi-gloss um, white paint. And of course, this bedroom is the same color, that beautiful pale yellow as the, um, the master bedroom. And if you guys didn't know, all these, um, all these rooms, this house is not a central heating and air. These are all mini splits and they work knock on wood they work fantastically um, there are three units in this house and that was another thing by opening up that dining room or opening up that kitchen into that dining room the air conditioner that's out there it's a little bit of a larger unit it just flows right into the kitchen and again it just it was so much it was so important for us to do that with just opening that that space up for so many reasons light was number one you know the airflow um, was number two to, and I'm sure there were many other reasons as well but um, anyway if you guys didn't notice that we do have the mini splits that are um, in this home and we absolutely love them they cool beautiful absolutely beautifully and of course turning around this was a little bit of an issue for us um, this closet right here the doors that were actually um, on there they were mirrored doors and we had every intention of putting mirror doors back on there however um, I'm trying to think of how to explain this. When when we bought the house, the doors were, they didn't close properly. Well, we thought it was just because the track was, um, it, it was, well, it was dirty, you know, and uh, it, the doors were just, um, I don't want to say rusted, but from the salt air and everything, they just weren't closing right. And we thought, okay, no big deal. You know, we'll just go ahead and we'll pull them all out, tracking and everything, and we'll just replace that. Well, we did. We bought, you know, more mirrored doors, basically the same type of door a little bit more modern but they did not close properly um, and now I know why those other doors that were on there previously didn't close this opening right here the wall I don't know that you guys can can see this to the naked eye or whatever but um, the wall it bows really really bad so when we had these, uh, or we bought these doors, these new doors, and we put them on um, this opening here, they did not fit. There were huge gaps 
um, in between the actual wall and the framework of the uh, the door, the mirror doors. And so we thought, you know what? This is just not going to work. And we went through two sets of, of doors, hoping that we were going to be able to find, you know, the right door that would fit. And then we realized that the wall, it was the wall that was um, so bad. You know, once we got looking, like I said, to the naked eye, you didn't even realize it because of the framing and everything that's up there. But once we started getting, an, you know, a, like a measure on it and a level on it, we started realizing, wait a minute, this is not going to work. So for the time being, because we had everything all retexturized and um, I gave everything a fresh coat, Robin went ahead and he put up some framework. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but we put up molding in this closet all up in the ceiling here. Robin put up molding and he did it all the way around. I'm going to try to get that camera up so you guys can see, but he just put molding all the way around and it goes all the way around the inside of the closet and it really cleaned it up so, so nicely. And of course, we put in all new um, uh, uh, shelving and everything in there. And, um, it, you know, it doesn't look bad. Of course, we've got a luggage rack. I have one in the other bedroom too, but we have the luggage rack and everything in there. Now, these pillows right here, they're not going to stay. They're just extra pillows for the sofa bed that we have. And um, I will be putting those in, um, in a storage for our guests if they want to use them later. But um, I don't want you to think that I just have raw naked fellas laying out there but anyway this closet we figured down the road what we may possibly do is we may go ahead and customize the doors we'll get the get wood doors um, you know buy the frame separately and then I will paint the doors they won't be mirrored they'll just be solid wood and we will build the doors um, when time becomes um, a little bit more um, you know uh, user friendly for us I mean right now we just don't have the time um, in between guests uh, to be able to do that so Anyway, there was an interesting story behind that for um, for everybody as to why there is no closet doors on that closet. So um, other than that, you know, this room, uh, you know, like all the other rooms, just came together so beautifully. Um, these lights right here, these were just a blessing. We found these guys on Amazon. We put them in every room. They are fans. Now, you guys, I don't know if you can see that, but the fans, they're ceiling fans as well as lights. And um, we had a ceiling fan in here, but y'all, this is a 1955 home, um, beach style. Um, ceilings are very low in here, and it just didn't make sense to have an open fan. Um, I thought, gosh, if you know, little ones are jumping on the bed or whatever, or if a tall person came in here, you know, they could run the risk of chopping their fingers. Well, they're not metal blades or anything like that, but you know, they could have hurt their, you know, their heads or their fingers or something, um, you know, with those just those regular fans. So we got these low-profile fans. I believe they're called Orison. O R I S O N. I may drop the link, and if I can find them, you guys, I got them on Amazon, and we bought them for every room. They've got a fan, and they've got lights on them, and they're absolutely absolutely um, wonderful and they're perfect perfect for uh, trailers and for homes that have like very low ceilings but um, anyway this room um, like all the other rooms just came together so perfectly okay you guys so that was the entire tour of this house I couldn't be more thrilled um, especially now um, after the fact looking looking back especially when I go through pictures I love to go through like before pictures I do it a lot especially on this house um, look Looking back at the pictures of when you know our realtor first brought us up and looked at this house I fell in love with it and it seems like every little thing that Robin and I did you know we were snapping pictures left and right and I love going back and going oh my gosh I can't I just can't believe it looked like that you know and you know then and then now what it looks like you know after we've you know ripped it out or um, you know fixed it up or whatever the case may be but I really feel like um, this 1955 uh, home just just got that um, that full um, breath of fresh air breathed back into it. You know what I mean? It's like I just um, I feel real passionate about that. Just taking this home and just um, you know restoring it back to what I knew it could look like. And I had that vision from the very beginning. And um, Robin and you know just you know he looked at me, would roll his eyes or throw his hands up in the air, and it was like you know okay, well let's let's try it. And you know for the most part, you know pretty much everything that we wanted to do, we were able to accomplish. There were a few things that were kind of like okay, 
okay, let's put a pin in this. You know, we'll address this later. But for the most part, I love the fact that we were able to bring this house, you know, um, back to um, a, 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 just a beautiful little house that I knew it could be. So, you guys, I, I hope that you enjoyed this video and seeing uh, the before pictures and, uh, you know, the pictures of what it looked like, you know, after Robin and I remodeled it. And um, I also am looking forward to bringing you guys outside because I've got a lot, a lot of ideas for um, the outside of the yard, both the front yard and the backyard for this property. And I also need to get back into our home and to our yard because it's been neglected these last few months. And, uh, but you know, in, in due time, we'll be able to do all that type of stuff. But if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, definitely uh, click that button. And it'll also notify you for when I do leave um, or make new videos. And um, if you enjoy this video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up, you guys. And we will just plan on seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.